Now with the place in the knockout stage on the line, Iran and United States face each other in a Group B clash at the Al Tumama Stadium. Despite what's at stake on the field, the build-up to the match has been dominated by an off-the-field controversy. In a public relations gaff by the U.S. Soccer Federation, they posted a graphic of the group table on social media without the Islamic emblem in the center of the Iranian flag. A miffed Iranian Football Federation lodged a complaint to the world's football governing body FIFA and demanded the U.S not to be suspended for 10 games. The post was eventually deleted by the U.S. soccer body and an updated post with a proper flag was put up. Yeah, the, the intent of the post was to show support for women's rights. Uh, it was meant to be a moment. Uh, we made the post at the time. All of the other uh, representations of the flag remain consistent and will continue to. This controversy has already added more spice to the already politically charged up match. Despite not being able to return maximum points from any of their two opening games, Tyler Adams and company have shown they are hungry for success on the international stage. They looked like the better side against England and were unlucky not to bag all three points on Friday. Greg Bahalter's side needs to be at their absolute best to get their first victory in Qatar because anything else would see them board the plane back home. For us, it's just focus. You know, we're not looking backwards. We're, there's no talk about, you know, the performance against Wales or England now. It's really focused on Iran, how we can be successful against them. And what I see from the group is this tremendous amount of focus. There's no, there's no real distractions. You know, I know there's a lot going on here, but the group is focused on how do we get a win. As for Iran, after getting humiliated by England in their campaign opener, Team Meli seemed to be back to the performance levels that earned them a place at the World Cup during the 2-0 victory over Wales. They now, they know a win against the USA secures passage to the knockout stages of the World Cup for the first time in their history. Although even a draw on Tuesday will be enough if Wales fail to beat England, but it is sure not going to be easy coach Carlos Quiroz, who has brushed off suggestions that they would use the flag controversy as motivation ahead of the game. Look, I, I said it and I repeat it again. In my opinion, the credit. Uh, we need to talk uh, not from the theoretical and favorites point of view. We need to talk about the facts. Uh, and uh, there, are, there are two facts that are that you not question. The team in this group that perform, the, the, uh, produced the best two performances um, in our group was without any doubts United. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.